the people, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Experienced detectives are both educated with facts and not hyperbole for the government and its minions. As you know that, you know, I am one of the police officers um, who's been hated by a lot of current and former police officers. And one of the main reasons for it is because I do not like keeping police officers. Period. And I have no qualms to let anyone know that if you're a chief, I don't like it. You understand? So, um, today is January 17, 2022. And as we have seen, um, the murder the murder um, rate in Jamaica increasing. And, you know, all kind of speculation um, that, you know, that the um, GLP clear about crime and the PMP doesn't. And we have noticed that the PMP is missing from the table. But what most people do not understand is that why would you expect the PMP to support the, the GLP party in fighting crime when that's their only ticket back to power? You understand? Remember, you know, I am from a PMP LGBTQ community you know, named Jonestown in Kingston. Church. And the PMP have never never love the people of Jamaica. They only care about power. And you got to understand that. So all those fools who are talking about um, unity and uniting the country and support political party to make things better for the Jamaican people and crime. You got to understand. The PMP only care about power. You understand what I'm saying? This GLP government is Michael Manley party 2.0 so those who think that this GLP government is any better than the PMP is that if you think that you understand what I'm saying I have some water from the moon to give you to drink so that you, 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 you live forever because they're not going to make things better for none of you in Jamaica you understand I who want to visit Jamaica because the PMP only care about power. They never care about the people's life. You understand? And if you do not, if you do not believe me, look at all the communities, all the PMP LGBTQ plus communities in Kingston. Show me one that is a model community where anyone who's from rural Jamaica would want to live, unless if you do not want to be a, a criminal, a gunman, or anything like that. No decent people would want to leave country and live in these communities. You understand? If that one time, you know, people would want to, um, you know, yeah, yeah, place like Green Park that people would want to go and visit and live and Washington Garden. That's maybe a few years ago. People don't even want to do that anymore because all of these places are infected with criminals. You understand? And these communities are predominantly PMP communities. I understand the PMP don't care about the people of Jamaica and they never have. All they care about is power and how to maintain it by any means necessary. They have destroyed all these communities. All of these PMP communities, the infrastructure is terrible. They have the worst, they have the most illiterate people in Jamaica. They have the most socialistic minds people in Jamaica, in which they believe that whatever you have. You must give it to them. You understand? And I am going to show you a video out of Jamaica how these people operate. You understand? Because this is the PMP thinking in it that they have imparted and brainwashed the Jamaican people from in the 70s with you know, that if you have one bread, you must cut it in half and give them. If you have two cars, you must give them one. If not, you are to die. You must die. And you know, you won't hear you won't hear a majority of police officers give you a honest perspective about the PMP's destruction of the police force and in, even the people and the world. But they will tell you how great this leader was and how great um, they have and the things that they have done for the country. But they are not gonna tell you how they have destroyed the Jamaican people's mind. You understand? And create this even for criminals. You understand? 
and we keep breeding criminals every day because that's how it is. So I want you to watch this video out of Jamaica. You understand? And I'll continue my commentary about these people. You understand? As you can see, those are Jamaican chosen ones. You understand what I'm saying? And the reason why we have all these call out war against the police force, you have to understand that. I want you to look at history. You see, the People's National Party in Jamaica, they are the ones that started the socialized crime in Jamaica from 1989 and empowering. The criminals in Jamaica, especially the gunmen. Now, Jamaica is the murder capital for the world, and you have to give credit to where it's due. And the people who are responsible for it are the PMP, the People's National Party, the PMP LGBTQ Plus Party. They are the ones who are in government from 1989 until. But let's say 2007, when the most criminal minded Prime Minister took office. Because before the PMP came to power in 1989, we had a robust crime plan. 
they call it the suppression of crime act as a young police officer i experienced this thing um there was a police division that was there eradicating criminal it's called special operations and what this pmp party government did back then was that they dismantled it the first thing that the pmp did when they came in power in 1989 they got rid of the suppression of crime act so um the senior police officers they can they can correct me you know about the facts if you know what i'm saying is um incorrect but you know as usual most of them as i've told you before most police officers in jamaica they are not police officers they are politicians so they see themselves as whether most of us 99 percent of the police force in jamaica when i was there are pmp lgbtq plus supporters these are not people who do their work independently or anything like that they make sure that they take care of people who support their ideology and protect them you understand what i'm saying and we are seeing the same thing happening right now with the glp party so jamaica is not getting any better in terms of um fighting crime jamaica is a criminal's paradise and if you do not believe me you just see it on the news you understand um now we have two, two people who are involved in the killing of the president of Haiti and where they caught them in jamaica i've been telling you people from a long time for the past two years or even before then that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise in the Caribbean. Why they didn't go to Bahamas? Why these people didn't go to another island? Because they know that the Jamaican people's mindset are rife with criminality. They are always thinking how to break the law and how to try to get away from it. Because in Jamaica, you know, criminals are not accountable for their actions. You know. The only people that are being persecuted in Jamaica are the police. The police who have no rights in Jamaica under the constitution. The criminals have all the rights in Jamaica. And the PMP party makes certain that they put all the they implementing everything from the came in nineteen eighty nine and we are reaping the benefits of it now, right now in Jamaica. The current government, the GLP, it's no better it's no better than the PMP government because this prime minister he knew because he's a young man he's a young man as I am and the reason for him to be doing this is that he knows that the only way for him to win it, win re-election in Jamaica and stay in power he has to be doing the thing that the people want so he cannot be aggressive against crime you understand remember that you know we had special operation base that they call eradication back in the 80s. This was a police division, you know, that drive fear into the hearts of criminals, you know. You understand? You can, uh, you, you know, ask some of the old-time bad men, then. they run away, you know, Willie Agat and all those people, you know. You know I'm telling you from my community of Jonestown, they, all of them run away, you know, because they were afraid of eradication, special operations base that Sierra got set up. You understand? And all of these people came back after the PMP came into power, and they start this and they're dismantling all the all the, the crime fighting measures that has been there to get rid of the criminals. You understand? In Jamaica, if if you are not a gunman, nobody revere you. These are the people that Jamaican people revere criminals. If you are an educated person, a law-abiding citizen, nobody wants to hear nothing from you. You understand you have to be a bad man a murderer somebody who's willing to make doppy i have made doppies you understand what i'm saying i don't know how that empowered them but that's how it is because that's the thing that the pmp has given us from the 1970s until 1980. we were as a society we were coming back to being civilized where we start loving each other and stuff like that where you know um anyone could walk from concrete jungle all the way to downtown. They could even walk down to Collis Smith Drive to Spanish Town Road and walk past Tivoli Gardens and go downtown if they wanted. And nobody do them anything because that's how we, the people were getting civilized and they were more, um, getting more educated back then. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and you know, in Jamaica, education is always a problem, especially with the poor people because, you know, people who have money invest in their children. 
poor people don't have it. Back then, most um, most of the children, they didn't even get to finish high school, poor people children, because it was very expensive. That was in the 80s, you know, you understand what I'm saying? And now, you know, um, a lot of kids, um, you know, they graduate in high school now and stuff like that. So basically, something is, um, something is better right now, that the parents, they can afford it. And they know that without education, you cannot, you cannot achieve success in life. You understand? And which is very good. But you got to understand that the biggest enemies are the enemies within. So people complaining about the PMP not coming aboard with the state of emergency to help the GLP government. What's, what most people do not understand you know, that they that these people, you know, the PMP have never loved Jamaican people. The only thing that the PMP love. And I am telling you from someone who was born and raised in a PMP community. The PMP never loved poor people. The PMP always only loved power. You understand? From the 70s, if you go back to where I am from in Jonestown, the same old dirty black gutter water is still there running on the street. So now the infrastructure has been improved. You understand? The same old dirty zinc fence is still there. The same people still showering outside and using the bathroom outside and all of those things. So what, and the PMP were in power, you know, from 1989 to 2007. And these people were from the same community I am from. They will tell you, you know, that they are born PMP, and they were dead PMP. I am not saying that they, I am not um, punching anything out there for the GLP, you know, because I am not a labor right. You understand? The only, throughout my lifetime, the only Prime Minister I have seen have done anything solid and last in only command of crime that drive fear into the hearts of criminals was the late Edward Sierra. But Jamaican people, uh, they don't like him because he's not black and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't somebody who was telling the black people that um, if you have a car, if you have two cars, you're supposed to give them one. He wasn't a socialist and telling people all of those things. So that's why we have this crime problem in Jamaica because of this socialist thing. As you hear the young man says, you know, with the gun, you know, telling the victim of the robbery, you know, that they must walk with money because this is the mindset of these people, you know. Yes, my Jamaican people. So I will reach to this point in time where you know criminals have been revered, lauded, loved and celebrated. It all started, you know, from back then. When the great Michael Manley was Prime Minister. You know, all of the Danzem and the so called murderers within the communities. When Michael Manley arrived they would lift him up and put him on his shoulder and most most of these young people in Jamaica do not know they used to call him Joshua. And you understand what I'm saying? But, and a lot of Rasta because they don't even read, they don't even know that Michael Manley and the PMP didn't even like Marcus Yarvey. To say that is to say this, the man who is responsible for destroying the infrastructure to fight crime. See him right there? That's man. That's the man, KD Knight. KD Knight is the man that makes sure that he has implemented every law in Jamaica from 1989 until the day that he left to destroy the Jamaican police force and the apparatus to destroy criminals and it has emboldened the criminals them and this is where we are now because the PMP you know they have been in power from 1989 till 2007 and they make sure that the death penalty they have never enforced it because guess what? 98% of the people who are in prison and they and they too, they were all PMP supporters. And these were people who killed other Jamaicans on behalf of the PMP party. Because to them, you know, they said that it was it was the struggle. I don't know what kind of struggle because I still see the people that are still suffering. You understand? The struggle, yeah, they yeah, fight for the struggle. All, all they were doing, you know, was killing the same black people to maintain power. So all you feel, all you, all you claim that you love black people, but you're giving black people to give black, give black people gun to kill next black people because 
of their political view. You do not love them. So when the, you're talking about you love poor people, all they have been, been they're very good at is to keep black people in poverty, abject poverty, and this mindset of infirm of the dead. And they must hate the police because the police are their enemies. And some of the police, some of the most of the police, them as I've said that I have served in the police force, they are PMP. LGBTQ activists. They are not police officers. You understand? You are PMP. They do everything to protect you. Just as right now, what Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitzdale is doing, he has been doing everything to make sure that he protects Patrick Daly for the murder of Jeremy and Junior. So you have to understand how these people operate in it. So it's the same mindset and political philosophy that's continuing. And it's permeated to this day in Jamaica. And guess what? The JLP at this date, January 17, 2022, they are no, not, there's no difference between them and the PMP. Because this Prime Minister is more Michael Manley than Michael Manley himself. You understand? At least Michael Manley had given us the gun quote and stuff like that because it affected Michael Manley then. You understand? None of his friends was killed and that's how we got gun court we didn't get gun court because michael money wanted to fight crime remember it was during michael money time all of these all of these gangs and all these troublemakers all these murderers they were filtered all over the kingston metropolitan areas you understand and so and, and so a, a lesser de a lesser degree to um the environs of spanish town and you understand and the, the capitals in some rural parishes, they have destroyed the Jamaican people and their lifestyle. So, Dr. Peter Phillips, honestly, to be frank, when he was Minister of Transport, Peter Phillips and Philip Powell, I had admired both men as politicians because, honestly, I was looking forward to see Dr. Peter Phillips one day become Prime Minister when he was Minister of Transport because I had respected the man not because he's a PMP, but because you know he's, um, he was such a good orator and, and stuff like that, and I never see him as a criminal supporter. Although Buffy, who is um, speed corner in Kingston 13, you know Buffy, you know always thought that Peter Phillips is going to be the next prime minister. But when I realized now that the PMP they, they, they haven't changed, is when he became security minister and the Klansman keep expanding and the criminality keep rising in Jamaica that's when I said no you understand so he's one of them who helped to destroy the Jamaican people and the police force so right now we have a police force that's inept incapable and demoralizing fighting crime and, and I agree with them because you have a you have a system you have a government that is entrenched in corruption this government is more corrupt than any other time in Jamaica. The PMP was corrupt, but boy, I don't think they were corrupt as this one. This government is one of the worst and the most corrupted ever. You understand? And as you have heard, the Prime Minister said that he's not into to go back to decades ago when we fight crime and talking about extrajudicial killing. As to me, extrajudicial killing is not murder. Extrajudicial killing is self-defense. Because the people who are you are you are killing, these people are murderers. These are people who kill other people and arm Jamaicans. You understand? From you have an illegal gun and you're caught with it. I don't believe that you're to go to jail. That is just me. Simple. Born and grown ghetto, that's how it is. From you have an illegal gun. Illegal guns are made to do illegal stuff. So once you're caught with it, there's no jail because these people you cannot rehabilitate murderers. The only thing that you can do with murderers is to eradicate them. You understand? There's, you're not supposed to be negotiation with killers. And what is happening right now is the people of Jamaica is, who is feeling it. The only thing that can help the Jamaican people is a third party. But guess what? The Jamaican people, they are born labor right and born PMP. They tried the NDM. The NDM was a spit off from the JLP government. You understand? And that's how the PMP was, were able to maintain power. You understand? So you have to understand how these people operate. This is the mindset of the people. You cannot change them because they are born PMP and born GMP.
the PMP is not going to help the JLP fight crime. So if they're, they're thinking about that, because the PMP want to come back in power. The PMP have never loved the job cakes and cheese, and I am telling you that from personal experience. The PMP don't go up for by any cost necessary. It doesn't matter how many lives. You understand? Just remember that. The PMP only care about power. PMP don't care about poor people. If you don't believe me, just go, just go and look in the community where I'm from. Jonestown, Concrete Jungle, Havana, Texas, all those places. Here's a top where Peter Metro, like Peter, that's Peter Metro's headquarters. Just go down there and think and should tell me of any improvement. Any improvement with the infrastructures in these people's home and the infrastructure overall here is the people who have done it. Like the PMP. And these are predominantly PMP here. Even election, I'm telling you. That one would send people to out, even cripple people to go and vote. No. Because one had uh, years gone by, before St. Andrew Wallingness came in the port, nobody didn't have to go to the Union Agling Community Centre to, to vote. Just one person just go there and vote because the police that are Admiral Town, you know, they as I told as I told you before, we're all PMP police. So they were in police, they were just political activists in the UK. One person just come and vote for everybody in a Jonestown or on a yard. And that by ten o'clock voting finished. The returning officer and anything. That even the person who claims that they're a labor right or somebody, they must have kicked them out shut. But no, because St. Andrew Oldest has used the army um, you now. You understand? People have to come vote now because guess what? If you don't vote, if you did not turn up to the, 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 the poll, your vote is not going to be counted because nobody cannot do that anymore. You understand? The PMP, they have never love the Jamaican people and they will never love the Jamaican people. All the PMP care about is for I don't care about this state of emergency that never worked. What we need is robust policing, just like how we have eradication back then. Um, Special Anti-Crime Task Force, uh, I said it was working, but we had another one that they call Kingfish. And I don't, I was not there. I don't know which one of the government this man is. So when they're talking about they have no fighting, um, they cannot do anything about them, they are lying. But what they have done, they have written all the laws to make sure that the criminals them. Everything socialistic in Jamaica, even crime. You understand? The government makes sure that the criminals are protected in every way. Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Just remember to like and share the video. And most of all, comment, you understand? We're not here to put the on of any political party because none of them are our friends. And we are always and will always be police. Not the thief in police, because we don't like them. Have yourself a blessed day. Peace. One love.